Welcome to the show presented by Douglas Gregory. What's on my agenda? Agenda. Hey. 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 I have no agenda. If I did have an agenda, it would go a little re- rewind. If I had an agenda, it would go a little I don't have one. But it has come to some rules of engagement. Basically, how to be a You feel as though you work hard all week and you get that ticket to that game. And that ticket is the golden ticket. It's the, it's magic, the magic bringer. The bringer of excitement. It transform you into a different being definitely not human definitely not human it transforms as an excuse to to do whatever it is you want to do throw no consequences not in your world not in that line of thinking not how it works throw things bad don't do it little banter back and forth with a star you tell them back and forth where they can hang out you you tell them where they came from you once again no thinking required so let's keep that in mind something back talk back tell you where to go tell you what to do tell you can do this possible said player who shall go nameless and will go nameless because there are many of them There's no need to call one. Said players, or those players can engage and will basically give you, give you the meaning of that that enter. You wanted banter on a high. It was for the simple fact that you wanted to be that guy. You wanted to be the one who got an athlete, a superstar, a person that- It can be a person that's not at the, at the top of their game, but technically, for the arguers, because where's the fun in that for you? These aren't high level, so you getting reaction out of them is just an average day, just an average day in the world. So getting a superstar, getting and athletes that deem one of the best, if not the best in the game to say react whatever to you whatever do, that is seen as a win because you got that excitement. You got that rush. You got that joy. You You've got something that's unique. And it was worth it. Man, man. why, oh why? On the field, on the pitch, on is deemed acceptable. On what level? Who understands that a ticket isn't a get out of license to do and say whatever you want to do with professionals here. We're still watching professionals and basically we're at work or they're at work and we're watching them work we're watching them do their magic you can cheer you can yell yeah, you can you boo, can do you all can... of the appropriate things but some people some fanatics take it a little bit too far you know who you are and you know what taking it too far is your media accounts and and how you get down there is and there's an infection, not a real fans, fanatic supporters who think it is okay to throw objects at players. Back to the 90s, are we going back in time? Because if so, op, let me get a rock. Organizations from doing things that have, will change light. And there's also some other things that I want to do, but first and foremost, that makes self. If I'm betting, I'm betting on myself. But are we going back to an era where 
you can get down in any way you want to get down when it comes an athlete to athlete doing their job wherever the sport takes it. Is that okay? To throw objects and when it when comes, an athlete must or chooses to defend him, we get told or the fanatics get of the doubt. Meaning, these professionals, they get paid X amount, therefore they should let this roll. Roll down there, roll down it, roll down the cheek, roll down there. So just because an athlete makes X amount of money being treated like animals or less than human, make that make sense. And these fanatics should bear no brunt of the respect of, or simple fact of treating somebody just a tad human just a tad just a little just a little just acknowledge that you breathe just acknowledge that little simple fact given this magic golden ticket that takes that away given this magic golden ticket you can do whatever granted franchises most sport or sports put in rules they put in to weed some of these fans out and accordingly some leagues some nations are also finding or letting the player know to engage a no no and I'm not talking engage as in making them hands dance. I'm not talking about engage as in making them fingers do push-ups and pull-ups. I'm talking about engage as in abusing you. Yeah. I understand. It's uh it running out on anywhere. The athletes know your friend of foe. The fence and that How be the security are... folks or the security peeps. I got questions. I can assume some of the answers. I see how things work. I am with others. Maybe the area that I'm in, the places where I engage, I don't the same live code. by as others live by who are maybe entitled and being entitled closer to the action that entitled but if you thought of the other one that works probably works as, as well. well feel a little bit entitled ticket i put in this cash i put in this money i can do whatever like wishing harm upon somebody's family that's not jeering. It's different. That's a different that ain't level. The same. That's not alike. Going objects, granted, most of the people get caught through some areas where it continuously happens. It's the same players, it's the same team. It's the, uh, what's the criteria? There's enough cameras available. There's enough cameras around. Some of even action footage and review were unable to get the throwers because there were so many. One, you can see. Two, you can see. Three, you can count. When you get the five, six, and just objects going objects. somewhere where players play, it's that's a little bit difficult. But congrats. Pat on the back to the that say no, not here, not now, not ever. Future, we're moving forward. We're going to make sure and these individuals 
being a fanatic is just that. But you do also understand the action. For every reaction, there's a reaction on top of that unless you're proactive. You get the drift. You get the point. You understand. I'm not here telling you how to be, how to a, be fan. a proper fan. That would be me and my agenda. I'm just here saying from my observation, it just makes no sense from one fanatic to another we fanatic. Can cheer. We can cheer. We can boo. Even some don't even back to boo your own players. Boo your own team. You should support and love arguments that go on in different fan bases. And the observations that I don't see or abusing Where's opponents. Do what they know. Others were peer pressure lightly. Because obviously I don't know the definition of peer pressure. I'm gonna just use it because it sounds nice. And me with no agenda, that means nice. It's gonna get to a point, hopefully, where you can, yes, go to an event, yes, cheer or engage with an athlete, engage with a professional, because glory, you won't, in five seconds, not that time, you, you want that time, however long it may be, I don't know, because only imagine that 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 is what it would be but when it gets to the level in action after the fact on socials or even the act of throwing objects or running use somebody like making them hands dance making them fingers move the argument because the where player make X amount should go above and beyond because he makes X amount or she makes any X professional amount. to yeah. go a little cray cray on a fan for doing something. But the thing is, the onus shouldn't be on them. They should be on the one who is causing the chaos causing the meat made an example of those are the ones dress that so need this to be, cannot continuously be a topic or an item year every two years every five years now, i get it i get it you pay that hard earned money oh so you just want to be something that you not fake tough guy whatever who knows you know i you get there and you and your player isn't playing your favorite player ain't there your favorite player don't turn up your favorite player is a no-show you don't know how to cope with the heartache you don't know how to cope with the struggle you don't know how to not happening the way they should because as a fanatic, you are irrational. Logic in them brains. And that's uh, thinking out uh, solutions on the fly. Or intel or presented with information that isn't what you would expect it to be. So instead of, you kind of just act out. You kind of just rage. You just kind of just not do. But yet you feel you're entitled to do because you have the girl. I wish. That wasn't the case. That was not the case. And it's not because able to. You're not being able to turn on a dime. You're not being able to channel that emotion elsewhere. You're not being able to release that stress, release that tension on the spot. The golden ticket. That 
when it's all digital? What happens when you just have to show that phone? What happens magically thinking about specifically to a bit and it's digital because when it's digital, they have better ways of tracking and if you don't being forced to comply with the rules and the regular your favorite organization or your sport go from paper to digital wherever you are yep that's where the chips are in the phone and that's a uh, tracking and that is track you're welcome you are welcome see no agenda i'm here to help big vince here to help time.